Okay, guys. We're going to run to A in five, four, three, two, one. Run to A. Q talent. The 30.ca is a hyper-local news site that's produced by digital journalism students at the University of Windsor. And we post all kinds of news from arts and entertainment, sports, city news, county news, videos, podcasts, articles. After the dissolvement of the Executive Council April last year, the UWSA was forced to continue operating without a student government until another election could be held. I'm here at the CAW for the first time in 10 years. Pro wrestling has come to the University of Windsor. The UWSA has held the event and has been live since 7 o'clock. We're here at the 2015 North American International Auto Show in Detroit. With many car manufacturers in attendance, we hope to discover the future of automobiles. We are students, but I think we should be held to the same degree that you would hold professionals because that's really what we're trying to emulate here. It is absolutely intended to be a news site. We view ourselves as being yet another uh, source for news and information in this community. We are competitive, we like to think, with uh, other journalism programs in the city, for example, but also with radio, uh, television, and even the Windsor Star. We have, in fact, broken some stories. Our goal on the 30.ca is to make sure that the students are being heard and that we do want to be a site that the public can come to to actually get news. It's not a joke site. It's not just for students to, you know, learn how to write and post videos. That's part of it, but we are, we do encourage the students to go out and get actual news stories. Hold us to the same degree that you would hold any other news site. If we have typos, if we have biased writing in an article, like, feel free to comment that kind of stuff because Really, you can't keep democracy without free speech, and that's why we want we want to like we want people in the community to get involved with this, because there's nothing more uh, rewarding as a journalist than when you have people sharing your stories or reading it or commenting on it. And um, I'm happy to report that some of my former colleagues in journalism are quite complimentary. One of whom told me a couple of weeks ago that he actually stole a story off the 30 dossier. So there's nothing that makes uh, a journalist uh, proud of his work, and I'm obviously proud of the work our students do, when you hear that someone has, the expression is, scalped a story from you, and indeed that's happened with the 30.ca. A new provost at the University of Windsor next month, but how does this actually affect the school? Reporter Jess Kramer went out to get the scoop on what a provost is and what they do for a university. When the uh, bu bureaucracy, let's call it, spit out our course code. It was 30 and I looked at it and I said well that's interesting because 30 is an old journalistic expression. Um, back in the old days of print, uh, and there still is a print industry, but back in the early days of print, dash 30 dash meant end of story. So you would see it at the end of a newspaper story. You even see it today at the end of, end of news releases, dash 30 dash. So we said, well, this is great, it's a fortunate coincidence, it's a journalistic expression, it's also a course code. Okay guys, we're going to run to A in five, four, three, two, one, run to A, Cute talent. Good afternoon, Windsor, I'm Lauren Hedges and this is the 30s Newscast for Friday.